hey, hey, hey. Tell me about a thing. What's Racing Nation? It's here. The Breeders Cup. Delmar. Yay. Yeah. Even got my purple on. Well, it's kind of a lilac. But anyway, let's jump right into the Breeders Cup Distaff Classic Two Day Daily Double. That's what I'm going to talk about here today. Let's go right for it. I'm not going to give you like a, you know, Stella Wind Gunrunner $10 Daily Double. Nope, that's not, that's not what I'm interested in. Let's look for some longer odds than that. Let's jump right in with the Distaff. Our first bet, we're going to single. Forever Unbridled. That's right. Two for two this year. Beat the once mighty songbird by a neck in the personal incident at Saratoga this last August. It was her last out win. Very impressive. She's as good as she's ever going to be. And she had a great trackside seat last year to the Beholder Songbird Ding Dong Breeders' Cup Distaff match. She only finished a length and a quarter behind that day, beating Stella Wind. So we're going to single Forever Unbridled. Let's play three logical contenders. And two long shots. Let's play number one, Arrogate, just because. Let's play number five, Gunrunner. He's as good as he's ever going to get, I do believe. In number eight, West Coast, the three-year-old, Travers winner. Bob Baffert taking a similar path as he took with Arrogate last year. And for some long shots, Gunnavir at number nine. Hey, listen, if they're 108 and change and three across the track at the three-quarter pole, he's got a shot to close in and win. And number 10, Pavel. The most ambitious and abbreviated three-year-old campaign Won his first race in July, made in special weight, and then he finished third in the Jockey Cup Gold Cup. And um, his last out right behind Keen Ice, who's been retired. And uh, so, you know what? This horse, the owners think a lot of him. The trainer thinks a lot of him. Um, maybe they know something we don't. Let's include him. Now for our second wager. Let's single in the classic one to Pavel. 20 to 1. Let's just do it. Let's go for it. Why not? Let's take the three logical contenders. Stella Wind, who's never won. Breeders' Cup to staff. I'm in second and fourth. And a late, number five, uh, has won the Bell Dame in her last out, three year olds and up, and won the Alabama for three year olds going a mile and a quarter at Saratoga. Take to those two bets, maybe a cash in for 75 on a dollar, maybe a cash in for 50 on a dollar. Let's take some shots here. Good luck with all your Breeders' Cup wages, and I'll see you tomorrow with the late pick four ending with the classic. 